starts with breaking news. And we begin with breaking news where three KCK police officers have been shot. KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live near the scene. This is 18th and Wood near Parallel Parkway. Jackson, what do we know so far? We know those three officers have been shot. Their injuries are serious, but non-life-threatening. We're at the corner of 18th and Walker. You can see detectives and officers with KCPD and KCK PD, KCK PD all meeting together. They're near this intersection. They are. That's 18th and Wood. Lots of police officers here. I think we saw uh, KCK Police Chief Carl Oakman a little while ago on scene as well. Those three officers um, were shot. We don't know any details about a suspect. We don't know uh, how this transpired. We're still working to get details on that and if this is the scene um, where the shooting happened or where uh, things transpired before the officers were here. We know they've been transported to a hospital. We'll have a little bit more later on that in a little bit here, but still pretty pretty fresh scene from this coming in. We got that uh, call in about just a little less than an hour ago um, and got here and they have wood blocked off a section of where this is on 18th Street and wood in KCK. This is the West Height Manor neighborhood, the historic district in the neighborhood. Lots of families trying to get uh, to their homes a little while ago. We talked to a gentleman down the road. He didn't hear anything, uh, but he was just super concerned as you would be when this happening in your neighborhood. So <clears throat> lots of police officers still trying to piece together what happened, getting the details of that account. Again, those three officers have been shot. Their injuries are serious, but non life threatening. So we're going to continue to stay on this, hopefully learn more from police and work to give you any details that we have. All right, Jackson, there in the uh, area of 18th and Wood in Kansas City, Kansas, we can see there on the right side of your screen that Kansas City, Kansas Mobile Command Unit, which is one more illustration of the kind of heavy police presence there is at the scene. And of course, as we await an update from uh, the folks at uh, the University of Kansas Health System, where um, right now those officers are being treated. Jackson, have you heard anything from Kansas City, Kansas police there at the scene on when some sort of an update might come from them? We're told that uh, 18th and Parallel Parkway is kind of the meeting point from where we're going to get an update. It looks like right now they're still trying to work through the details of what happened here, so still no word exactly when that will be. But, you know, this is just reminiscence of what happened uh, in Kansas City, Missouri, just uh, early to beginning of March, where we had those officers also shot um, not too long ago. Um, they they didn't have... Um, they thankfully didn't die, but they also were shot kind of reminiscence of, of that scene we're seeing here. Lots of police uh, gathering one and gathering to, together here, trying to work through the details and uh, learn as much information as we can. Jackson, I know you're still waiting for more details. Can you tell, is there any active search underway there that you can see? Um, has anyone talked about that? It doesn't look like there's a search. Um, they have, like I said, wood blocked off on 18th uh, off 18th Street there, so um, looks more as if they're putting the pieces together. Um, you know, we usually would see uh, some dogs, some um, crews kind of combing through the area, helicopter by chance sometimes, but we're not seeing that right now. Looks like they're just still meeting here, um, but lots of roads blocked off. A little hard for me to tell exactly which ones um, from where we are at. I think uh, 18th and Walker where we're on one street is blocked off. So if you were to come north on 18th Street and try to turn right, that'd be blocked off. But uh, looks like they're just still meeting um, together here, working through the details. All right, Jackson Kurtz there at 18th and Wood in Kansas City, Kansas, as we continue looking at live pictures from near the scene. Uh, Jackson, we will get to you uh, once you hear any sort of an update from Kansas City, Kansas police. Now, right now, there is also, as we've mentioned, a very heavy police presence at the University of Kansas Hospital. And KMBC tonight's Andy Alcock is live uh, right outside there um, in Kansas City, Kansas. Andy, um, granted, we're awaiting an update from the people inside. Have you heard anything in the time that you've been there? Chris, I did have an opportunity to very briefly speak with Jill Chadwick, the spokesman, uh, spokeswoman for the University of Kansas Health System, and she confirmed that they are treating multiple gunshot victims. She did not confirm that they are KCK police officers, but she also noted that there is a large police presence outside the emergency room here. As you can see, we've got some flashing lights. Uh, we do have uh, a truck uh, blocking uh, 
part of that view right now, but uh, we, we have police presence here on 39th Street uh, and also in the alley leading up to the emergency room at this point. And uh, we're hearing some more activity uh, coming uh, by here in the not uh, too distant uh, place from us. But um, we are expecting to hear more details from the hospital here very shortly. Uh, they're scheduled to hold a, a live virtual news conference at 5.05, and, and so we should have an update, uh, uh, hopefully, on these police officers, uh, possibly with a confirmation that they are, in fact, the three KCK police officers. Uh, I can also tell you that I did reach out to KCK PD spokeswoman Nancy Chartrand. She said at this time she can't comment on anything, so we really don't have any details. We